What's up everybody, my name is Carl and welcome to another Windows tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing an update to my Rust server video for Windows because it seems like a lot of people were having issues getting their Rust server to work. Some had some some success, other, while others were just not having any success. And I found a more simpler way of doing it and this method works as of December 8th, 2015, and I want to go ahead and just kind of walk you through it. I'm also getting the server files from the actual site, so we're going to go to the REST site to get what we need. So let's go ahead and begin. It's going to be real quick and easy. First thing you want to do is open up a web browser and head over to playrust.com forward slash dedicated dash server. These, this zip file that we're going to download comes directly from the developers. There are some requirements, uh, it needs to be run on Windows, 4 gigs of RAM, and there are no Linux distributions yet. And just remember, it is early access, so results are going to vary for everybody. Once the download's finished, go ahead and open it up and extract the server, server uh, folder to the desktop. Close it out, open up the server folder. You're going to see some files and uh, some batch stuff. We're going to run the run underscore ds. This is going to download Steam CMD, update it. It's also going to download the server files required uh, for Rust, and it's also going to update it as well. And once it's finished with all that, it's going to start the dedicated server for us. This process may take a while since Rust is a larger game, so just be, be, just be patient. Awesome. Once you have the green text up on the screen, your server is up and operational. Uh, in order to uh, be able to connect to the server uh, through the internet, you will need to do some port forwarding. Uh, it uses uh, port 28015 TCP by default. Um, I can't do a port forwarding guide because there's too many different routers. Uh, just go to You can go to portforwarding.com, search your routers, make and model, and it gets uh, tons of really easy um, to follow guides on how to set up port forwarding. But anyway, uh, unlike in the last video, I actually purchased Rust to test the server past this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect to my server, kind of show you as a proof of concept that uh, this server video is working. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, fire up Rust here, and uh, we'll go ahead and connect. I apologize if the video of the gameplay is a little bit choppy. Um, it, Rust does not like to run uh, while OBS is using its in-game cap, the game capture. So I'm using just a uh, screen recorder, so it might be a bit choppy. But anyway, go ahead and press F1 and type in client.connect space the IP address colon 28015. This is the command needed to connect to your server. Awesome, once the game is loaded, you can go ahead and press F1 to close the console, and you can begin to play on your uh, own little dedicated uh, REST server. And again, this video is working. The server is up as of December 8th, 2015. I hope this clears up any issues with the past, with the previous video, even though the, t the techniques are still the same, it's just more automated. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you showed me, leave, show me by leaving me a like. If you want to see more videos in the future, subscribe. If you have an idea for a future video, leave me leave in the comment section. I love to do viewer requested videos, especially on things that are, are interesting. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.